Hello! This video will show you how to prepare the new, shorter, simpler Justice of the Peace and Constable Sworn Financial Statement Reports for the Louisiana Legislative Auditor's Office. This new form has just two pages versus the five in the old report form. The first page of the new form is the affidavit. This hasn't changed dramatically from the older version. The top portion of the form needs to be filled out with your information including your name, your ward or district and parish, your physical address, your telephone number, and an email address. The bottom portion of the form states who you are and that you have presented the financial information as fairly and correctly as possible and that your total receipts did not go over $200,000. In most cases, that's rare. Your signature on the affidavit must be witnessed and notarized by a notary public. The second page of the new report combines statements A, B, and C of the old report. The directions are given in fairly simple language for each line. The amounts requested are entered into the spaces provided for each line. Now, to prepare your report, you should have on hand the following documents. A W-2 form, garnishment activity amounts for constables, fees collected as a JP or constable, conference expenses and reimbursement amounts, and any other documents for the year. In this box here, you put the amount from your W-2 form, box 1, for justices of the peace or constable. If you collected any garnishments, those collections go here for constables who had such activity. Any amount of garnishments you paid out to others, meanwhile, goes here. Here is a list totaling all fees collected from performing your duties as a justice of the peace or constable. For constables, the amount of fees received from your JP goes here. And if you're a JP, the amount paid to your constable goes here. If you attended the JPC conference, a list of conference expenses you may have incurred include registration costs, hotel, meals, and travel. If your parish paid your registration fees directly to the AG, you need the amount paid on your behalf here. If you received reimbursement of any conference expenses from your parish, that amount goes here. The last two boxes of the receipts section happen very rarely. If you collected any of these from your parish, you give a brief description and amount. Meanwhile, if you have any employees, a JP's constable, however, is not his employee, enter the amount of salary you paid for them here. If you kept record of any travel expenses, including the amount that may have been reimbursed, enter that here. If you kept record of any office expenses for your work as a JP or constable for rent, utilities, or supplies, you enter it here. The remaining funds section will require you to provide an explanation to our office. Just a note. If you've already submitted your information on the old forms, don't worry, we'll still accept them. However, you should familiarize yourself with this new form when filing for future years. And if you have any questions about how to prepare this report, you can always give us a call at 225-339-3800.